Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll be putting Bisquick in the Mylar bags because I picked up two boxes. So I'll put six cups in each Mylar bag. And after I have the Bisquick in the Mylar bags, I'll put one of these deoxidizers in each bag. So now I'll open up the Bisquick. The reason why I'm putting six cups in is because on the back of the package or even to make pancakes, um, biscuits, waffles, it calls for two cups. I'm trying to keep the top clean so that this way here it has a good seal. So I'm trying to keep the dust and everything off of the top. So this is the fifth cup. This will be the last cup, so I have to open the other box of Bisquick to make it a full six cups. It made six Mylar bags, and I have six cups in each Mylar bag. So now I'll put the deoxidizer in each bag. So I have about five deoxidizers left. Make sure you put the seal or the cover on real good. So now I made the labels for the six Mylar bags that I have of the Bisquick. I put the date, how many cups are in it, and how long it's good for. So now we're heat sealing it. And I'll put the labels on. If you don't have a food saver at home, you can use a flat iron. It seals it just as good. So I have 500 cc's inside this, um, these Mylar bags, which is Bisquick flour. I picked up a big package of the Nabisco saltine crackers. There were 12 packs in each. So what I did is I have four Mylar bags. I put three sleeves in each. Okay, so I poked a hole on a top of each one, and I'm just using a regular safety pin. So each package has a hole on the top, each package of cracker. Then I'll put the deoxidizer in each bag, and then I'll seal it. 
I have 14 pounds of powdered sugar. So what I'm going to do is put four cups in each Mylar bag and then seal it. I'm going to put six rather than four. Now I'll open up my second bag. What I did out of these two bags, because they're seven pounds each, that made 14 pounds of powdered sugar, I filled up my container of powdered sugar that I use on a daily basis or weekly basis. So at this one here, I have powdered sugar set aside for usage, and the rest I'll store. These are five Mylar bags, and I have 10 cups of white sugar in each. So now I'll seal these bags up. I use this hair straightener to seal all these bags to let you know that this hair straightener works as just as well as a food saver. So I'll place them off to the side. Now I'll be putting flour in my Mylar bags. I'll probably put about 10 cups. And the last cup. So that's 10 cups of flour in this Mylar bag. So now I'll continue on with this bucket. This flour I'll be storing for future uses. I made sure that I kept out enough flour for what I'm going to use it for. Eight Mylar bags filled with flour, and there's 10 cups in each. So now I'll put the uh, deoxidizer in each bag and then seal it. So these are all the bags, the Mylar bags that I filled. You can see there's quite a bit. Now I'll take these bags and I'm going to store them in the box and wait 48 hours and you'll see these deoxidizers suck the air right out of these bags. So I labeled everything, put the date on it, how long it lasts. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.